One of the questions that we're asked quite a bit about is stable, sustainable technology, uh, flexible stables, and just generally how stables work. And one of the things that's interesting about a stable is that most people don't quite understand is why we have stables in the first place. So just real quickly, if I can diagram out to you using my hands, on any given boiler we have outer sheets and we have inner sheets. The inner sheets are going to be the ones where the fire is burning on this side and the atmosphere and everything else is on this side. Well these two sheets, when you put pressure in the middle of them, which is where the water is, which we call the water space, once you pressurize that, these two sheets want to start to spread apart. And the outer sheets want to go out and the inner sheets want to be pushed in. And the only way that we can keep those sheets from going either direction is to hold them in the middle by putting a stay bolt in them from one side to the other. This particular unit that I'm holding in my hand is a flexible stay bolt sleeve. And a flexible stay bolt works a lot like our bones and our joints. We have a ball on the end of the shaft or the shank of the stay bolt. And that ball allows the stay bolt to move within the sleeve. This is the sleeve right here like this. And the inside of the sleeve has a surface in it around, it's, it's machined out in the basic same proportions as the head of the flexible stay bolt. So the flexible stay bolt goes inside of the sleeve like this. And as you can see, I'm gonna hold the sleeve solid, but I can move the bolt around like this. Now the question would be, why do we need flexible stay bolts and sleeves in a boiler? Well, as you're firing up a boiler, and again, we're gonna have our outside sheets and our inside sheets. These inside sheets that are subjected to the fire are going to heat up faster while they're trying to transmit the heat through the water into the outside sheets over here. Well, when those inside sheets heat up, they're gonna have a tendency to wanna to start to move. So let's just put this stay bolt and sleeve in my hands just like a boiler like this. And this hand again is the one that's subjected to the fire over here. What's gonna happen is it's gonna start to move. And those firebox sheets start to move like this. And without a flexible bolt, what we end up with is a, a rigid stay bolt that can't move, but it has to move because it's subjected to the movement of the firebox side and eventually what's gonna happen is the stay bolt itself is gonna break. Generally speaking, stay bolts will break very near the sheets on either side. I see more bolts that break generally on the fire side, closest to the fire. They break right on the inside of the sheet. One of the things that we have in the rule is we've got what's called a telltale hole in the stay bolt. The telltale hole goes all the way through the bolt, or in this case, it goes a certain distance into the bolt. And when the bolt breaks, the idea behind it is that the water will shoot through, uh, the pressurized water inside of the boiler will go past the crack and it will come out the hole and it'll blow steam out inside of the firebox and it gives you a telltale that that bolt is broken. So that's a little bit about how a flexible bolt works. One of the other questions we get quite often about stay bolts is, how do you line the threads up from the outside sheet to the inside sheet? Generally speaking, this would be a very tricky deal, but what we have is we have these, which are stable taps. The way a stable tap works is we start from one side, let's say the outside, which is generally where I start anyway, from the outside working in. We stick the stable tap into both of the holes, and this portion of the stable tap has a reamer in it. And what that reamer does is it's reaming out the hole to the right size and as it reams it out, then it starts to engage in threads. And then as the threads engage, the threads will go all the way from the outside sheet all the way into the inside sheet and out. We call that indexing of the threads. The threads are indexed all the way through, meaning that when you screw a stay bolt in from the outside all the way to the inside, even as it goes through that water space, which is a, an area where there's no threads, once it hits that other side, it's gonna grab the threads and continue to go in and continue to grab those holes. We're, today, we're actually going to be installing flexible stay bolts and sleeves, and we're gonna be threading a whole bunch of holes for stay bolts, so I'll take you over while the guys are working on those and show you both of those. 
Before I go and show you those two things, I want to remind you again, this project here at Big South Fork is open to volunteers. If you want to come and work with us, we'd be happy to have you. You can contact Bill Johnson, his name and phone number right here across the bottom of the screen. We're going to show them to you again at the end of the video, but Bill would love to have you. Uh, you can come out and actually thread stay bolts with us or help us put in the flexibles. We'd be happy to have you come out. So come on out and do that. The next great volunteer weekend for Big South Fork is going to be May 17, 18, and 19. And also that same weekend, we're hold, holding an open house in Cheyenne, uh, which is our grand opening of our new shop in Cheyenne at Wasatch. And that will also be held 17, 18, and 19 of May. And there's going to be more information about that at the end of the video. But before we go any further, let's go watch the guys thread a couple bolts. Let's watch them put a couple stay bolt sleeves on. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in a few minutes. you look over my shoulder, you'll notice that Cody's got a lot of the flexible sleeves already installed in the boiler. They really do go fairly quickly. They don't take a whole lot to do. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to watch them go in and go together. Now, we get a lot of questions and requests on where to get some of the boiler materials that you've seen us use in a couple of our videos, in the rivet video, or in this, the stay bolt video. We at Wasatch supply all kinds of boiler materials. In fact, anything that you need, we do build brand new boilers as well. So if you need tubes or flues, superheater units, uh, if you need any kind of uh, flexible stay bolt or sleeve, if you need any kind of rivet, uh, we supply all of those things, including pipes, pipe fittings, uh, all kinds of stuff. Now, there are a lot of us in the industry that do do that as well. Uh, but if you're looking for somebody and, and you need to find those materials, just let us know. Now, just one last reminder before we let you go today. If you want to come and volunteer here at uh, Big South Fork, contact Bill Johnson. Uh, his information will be at the end of the video as well. Remember that we have the volunteer project in Maine, in May rather, here at Big South Fork. And we also have our open house in Cheyenne in May as well. Send us a question or a comment on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page, or send it direct to our email. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode with Stables, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at Wasatch Railroad Contractors.